if you want to take it. Is it a CD or a DVD? It's a DVD, bro. DVD. Take it if you want to take it. Is it a DVD as well? Yeah, yeah, you can take that one if you want, yeah. Is this a DVD at all? Yeah. See you bro, God bless you mate. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae, grace be unto you and peace from God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which you have to all the saints for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven wherein you before in the word of truth of the gospel for in for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven wherein you heard before in the word of truth in the gospel here it says for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven that the Bible teaches that there is a hope that you and I can have a hope in heaven that when everything comes crashing down and when everything's falling apart there is a hope that you and I can have and that hope is a hope in heaven that there is a hope in heaven a place where we can be with God forever a place of peace and a place of hope for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven it's not in a pub it's not in a disco it's not in a nightclub. The hope is in heaven. And our hope begins where it says, For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, wherein you heard it before, the word of truth of the gospel. How do we get to heaven? We get to heaven by the word of the truth, which is the gospel. The word of truth, there are many, many lies today. Many people lie to us there's a lot of fake news today a lot of fake news and in that fake news we need the truth of the gospel and the truth of the gospel gives us hope for heaven for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven wherein you heard before in the word of truth the gospel you and I need the truth of the gospel that truth begins with honesty about ourselves. Have you ever lied? Have you ever lied? Have you ever lied? The Bible says you should not lie. Have you ever lied? How many times have you lied? What will God do with liars? What will God do with liars? But Christ died on that cross for your lives, my friend. Which is come unto you as it is in all the world, and bringeth forth fruit as it doth also in you, since the day you heard of it and knew the grace of God in truth. The grace of God in truth. The grace of God in truth. There is a grace of God. That grace covers the mistakes you and I make. You make mistakes, and I make mistakes, and God covers our mercy with His mercy and His love and His grace today. As you also learned, Epaphras, our dear fellow servant, who is for you a faithful minister of Christ, who also declared unto us your love in the Spirit, for this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. That you need to be full of the wisdom of God. You need to be full of God's mercy and God's love and God's grace today. And you can be full of God's love and mercy and grace today by finding that salvation in Jesus Christ. The Bible warns about hell. Jesus said there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth 
And the Bible warns about breaking the Ten Commandments. You should have no other gods before me. You shall not use the Lord's name in vain. You shall not lie. You shall not steal. You shall not commit adultery. You should honor your father and mother. You should honor the Sabbath day. And you should not covet. And we all break those commandments. But Christ shed his blood and died in your behalf. That you might know his love and that you might know his forgiveness today. So trust him as your Lord and Savior today. Trust him as your Lord and Savior who shed his blood for you. God bless you. I'm not.